Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So on this video, we're going to be using the Launch X431 uh, 2.0 for Hondas and Acuras to uh, just do some function testing and a data list on the uh, wastegate on Turbo Honda. So we're going to back out of this here because that does take a while and sometimes it doesn't even work properly. And we're just going to hit Diagnose here. And we're going to go to Honda. We're working with, I believe it's a 23 Accord, 23-24 Accord. And uh, nothing wrong with this car, just for the purpose of the video, as somebody did ask for some uh, function tests. So I believe there's only one for the turbo uh, wastegate actuator, but we will find out. 16-pin uh, DLC, USA. Just go through the prompts here. And again, this is a, a functioning a car. There's nothing actually wrong with this a turbo here. All right, once you are all loaded up, we can see here 23 Accord here. So we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to go to uh, System Selection here. And it most likely is going to be under PGMFI. But let me see if there is a subsystem here. All right, so PGMFI it is. And the car has no fault codes, although let's go to actuation test. I'm gonna scroll up and here we have the electronic wastegate. So this is your conditions, ignition on, battery more than 10 volts, obviously a uh, car not driving and no DTCs and the ECU, if you have a DTC, most likely we will not do the test here. All right, so uh, we have our actual lift and our target lift. So both match, which is what you want to see. Uh, this is on, let's go ahead and turn it off. And again, very close. So again, this is what you want to see. And this is on a, a normal uh, functioning vehicle. Now the car is just off. So it uh, doesn't have any uh, you know, lift or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn this back on. And there we go. And now we're gonna exit out of this. Now we're just going to go to some a data list here. Read data stream. All right. Now we're going to find the wastegate here. There's a ton. So you can see 277 different data parameters here. So obviously a ton of data that could be achieved with this unit, which is nice. All right. So lift battery voltage uh let's just put target lift so we have a ton of stuff here just do this and i believe we could do up to five all right so actual lift voltage at the uh wastegate so duty one to two percent Target lift and actual lift are matching once again. And then we have reference voltage there. So we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle, kind of see what it does. And again, this is a uh, perfectly running vehicle and it is warmed up already. So again, now we see the battery voltage went up and everything here looks normal. If I accelerate it, obviously things start to happen. And as you drive, it will change as well but just some things you can monitor with the a scan tool and you can kind of use these numbers to compare to um, you know maybe a faulty one usually when these things are bad either there's a lot of play and um, the thing we look for most is uh, actual lift and uh, target lift will be uh, different. So target will be one thing and actual lift will be another thing. And that happens quickly. So you may have to use a freeze frame for that and kind of go back. And that's when the uh, waste kits get older, get sloppy, and it throws a, a code for that. Or when a vehicle has been in an accident and it breaks the wastegate, then there will be usually an open circuit code or something along those lines. And it's pretty um, you know, obvious once you look right at the engine bay. 
but other than that we don't see too many issues with these and on these 23 cores the engines pushed back a whole lot more so i don't foresee them breaking as often during front end collisions although on the 10th generation civics and accords they did break quite often so that is a nice um you know point of view and uh, something honda paid attention to um in my opinion it's something that's definitely valuable so with that being said that's going to be it for this video and if you have any other suggestions or anything you want to see uh just like this video make sure you drop a comment down below and i'll catch everyone on the next one